Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I'm going to be in this series where I'm building a blog from scratch. I don't know if you've seen the other videos, but uh, basically hiring virtual assistants for this specific blog, the virtual assistant that I had uh, kept giving up on me. And uh, I figured I just might as well make this a series instead of hiring somebody to do it. I could be a little more transparent, show you guys what's going on behind the scenes and how I'm improving things. So I don't know what I'll call this, how to build a blog series, how to start a blog, whatever you want to call this. Um, you can get little nuggets here and there. Uh, if you want to learn how to actually build a blog using chat GPT-4 or a blog post, check out the website, cashcountnichesites.com. We have the guide here, uh, $29.99. Check it out. But for now, let's go ahead and get into some of this work. So I'm improving my website, how to build uh how to boost testosterone.org this is a website hosted on rocket web builder so i'll just just kind of i'm laying the foundation for you guys to understand what i'm doing and how i'm going to change things up so this is a website hosted on rocket web builder rocket web builders web, uh, website building platform which you will see in a few minutes here as i get started um essentially what we're looking at is a website that is I would say 80% built by virtual assistants. Uh, the 20% that I have done myself was either for YouTube tutorials and pretty much good quality work. The virtual assistants work was not something I'm happy or proud of. Um, and that's why I'm going to sit here and show you guys what I'm doing. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, um, the first thing that I have here is I have a guide, or not a guide, I have a subscription to Ubersuggest. Not, everything that I do here, I'm not saying that you have to do it. I'm just simply sharing what I'm doing, all right? So here I have different keywords that I rank for and that I want to improve my ranking on. So for example, I have an article written here on onions. So let me go ahead and add this here. Do onions increase testosterone? And you can see here it's an article written. It's not the best article. We're going to improve it drastically. But you could see here uh, we rank four different keywords for it. So does onion increase testosterone? We're in position number 28. Do, do onions increase testosterone? Let's go ahead and click on this. We're in position 31. Do onions boost testosterone? We're in position 46. Onions testosterone, 73. Onions testosterone, onion testosterone, 78. Uh, onions and testosterone, 37. Uh, onion and testosterone, 39. Um, let's see here. If onion increased testosterone, 36. Uh, all these kind of different ones here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit start tracking. And essentially, the reason why I'm tracking these keywords is because my goal is to improve my ranking over time. And I'm going to, for these specific keywords, by improving this blog. So how am I going to do it? The first thing that I'm going to do here is this is my tracking. I'm going to see how well I'm going to do over time. So I'll come back a week from now, a month from now, etc. And check. All right. Now, I have here Content Pace, which, by the way, Content Pace is not the best analyzer out there in the world. It's good. It's very good. Not the best. Uh... There's a few out there. Like I said, I'll make separate videos of this on the, in the future, but I'm just kind of showing what I'm doing now. And what I'm going to do here is go to my content uh, topic reports, excuse me, create report. And what I'm going to do is I will use, let's see here, um, a keyword that I'm trying to rank for. So do onions increase testosterone? What is testosterone? Why do athletes need it? Do increase, do onions increase testosterone? Something like this. Um, but before I do, I want to see what are people searching for in relation to these keywords. So what I'm going to do is just click on this and export to CSV, export all. So I have the keywords here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to keyword research, keyword overview, and just type this keyword in. Okay, this is the keyword that I'm uh, competing for. Okay, do incre do onions increase testosterone? We have 3,600 3, search volume with an SEO difficulty of 61. So it's relatively difficult. In the beginning, there wasn't that much search for it. And then for some reason, you could see the search increased. I have no idea why. Okay, uh, could be for a number of reasons. I'm not sure. But doesn't matter. This is a reflection of the chart. So you could see here after this large trend curve upward, it normalized back down to like 3,600, 3,900, 
So you could say it's still about 10 times more than what it once was, which here is 140 searches, here 110, 480, etc. So it's about 10 times more uh, conservatively. All right. So if it stays at this level and it gets 3,600 3, searches a month, that's not bad. But the question is, is how do we rank? So we're going to have to come up with a lot of things here. And here we have related content. These are related keywords. So I'm going to click view all keywords. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and export this as a CSV. So export all. And the reason why is because these are going to be topics that I want to cover in my article for the purpose of related keywords. So something that Google has is this related keyword concept called adjacent keyword terms. And really what that means is this term right here, do onions, or this phrase, excuse me, do onions increase testosterone, is the exact same thing as does onions increase testosterone. Do or does doesn't really make a difference. The meaning is the same. Google understands that. Now, the search volume is different because people type it in differently, but the meaning is still the same, okay? And the reference is the same. And so what happens is, is these keywords are adjacent to my main search function, okay, which is this, okay? Now, this is what my article is going for. So I'm going to have to find ways to include some of these in my article. All right. Now that's just my own assertion of that. But now let's go ahead and take my keyword paste it here and hit create a report. Okay. So now it will kind of fetch the fifth top 50 results and it'll kind of understand what's going on there. Then what I'm going to do is go to content briefs and I am going to, first of all, let me get rid of this delete. And I'm going to have to uh, work on a brief, but not for not now. I'm going to create optimized content. I'm going to add my keyword here and I'm going to find my article that I need to improve. Now I can tell you straight off the bat, there's a lot of keywords I'm missing here. This is not readable. This is not set up properly. Nothing about this is done properly. Okay. This was a virtual assistant job, not done properly, but uh, it's something. All right. So let's go over here and let's go ahead and paste uh, fetch content from article to optimize. I'm going to go ahead and paste that. And this is the article that I want to optimize. I'll go ahead and create uh, my report. Okay. So I'll wait for that. And you could see here, it's kind of doing its thing. Now, what I can also do is I'm going to do the exact same thing here. I'm going to add the listing and I'm going to add the keyword. So let me add the keyword Do onions increase testosterone, go over here. And this is all just going to provide me some algorithmic data. All right, I'll go ahead and hit close here and let it prepare. Now, by the time I hopefully come back to this, this will take some time to improve itself. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and work on the things that I want to edit in this article. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to find the article in my list here on Rocket Web Builder. So like I said, this is the behind the scenes to Rocket Web Builder. And I'm going to search for Onion, okay, which is my article, uh, which is a really awesome function. But anyways, this is the article. There there needs to be a lot of work, but I don't want to work on it just yet because I'm waiting for some of the results for it to tell me what I have to do. Okay. So since this is episode one, we're going to talk about the things that I predict that I have to do. And in order for me to do that, this is an article that has not been written with AI. So this was just manually written and this could be drastically improved, right? So I'm going to go over here to a whole new section in the article and I'm going to ask it to produce for me an outline, a blog outline and see what I'm missing, right? So I'm going to go over here, just simply drag text, and I'm going to tell it within Rocket Web Builder, and this is using the new GPT technology, so nothing crazy here, uh, just the newest technology, and I'm going to go over here and hit generate, and I'm going to ask it to create for me an, a, an outline. So I'm going to say write an outline, a outline for the article on... And then I'm going to, what was it here? For do onions increase testosterone, okay? And I'm going to say here, keep in mind this outline is for a testosterone improvement website slash blog. Okay, the only reason why I did that is there's no specific tactic to this, but the reason why I did that is because I just want to give it some contextualization. Maybe that will help it produce a better result for me. And so it's going to go ahead and do that. And 
not everything that it covers, I'm going to have to, you know, cover in my article, but I want to see where it's coming from, the AI. And you got to remember, it's looking at all the other, other articles that are having this information. All right. So there we go. We have a full, like built out, you know, article outline. So let's go ahead and go through this. So it says introduction. First, we have to define what testosterone is, the importance of why testosterone is important or health levels, uh, brief explanation of onions potential effects on testosterone levels. Then we have here the science behind onions, testosterone, the overview of onions chemical composition, so what it's com you know what it has, the impact of sulfur and flavonoids on testosterone levels. So here it says the impact of sulfur and flavonoids. This is a little pro tip. This might seem like it has nothing to do with onions, but here if you read the headline before it says onions chemical composition, that probably means that sulfur and flavonoids are are part of the chemical composition of onions, okay? Uh, studies that support onions' effect on testosterone. So we're going to have to include study data, all right? Um, on onion as testosterone-boosting food. So this is a whole section. And the nutrition benefits of onions. So it covered general nutrition. Then it says here the role of onion in a balanced diet to improve testosterone. Recipe and meal ideas for incorporating onions in a testosterone-friendly diet. There we go. Okay. And then here we have an, alt an alternative. So other testosterone-boosting foods. I'm not sure where I mentioned this, whether it be in a paid lesson or whether it be free content. I'm not sure you guys can remind me, but <clears throat> something that I said is always talk about the antithesis in your article, so the opposite, because what that does is that covers the broad range of the questions that somebody may have, right? So for example, if this is about does onion boost testosterone, whether the answer is yes or no, you still provide the, the other aspects that do boost testosterone, whether it be you know, whatever it might be, other foods, supplements, whatever it might be, right? And the reason why you're doing that is because you're covering all your bases. So another example of this is, um, for example, do, um, do tulips drive uh, bee, uh, bee population in your local area? So you, whether the answer is yes or no, it doesn't matter. The point is, is you're going to also state in your article the things that do drive bee population because somebody might ask that and whether they want that to happen or not is irrelevant you just want to give information around it okay so how onions compare to testosterone boosting foods uh tips for balanced diets so this is actually good because this will cover a comparison or alternative chart meaning we compare and contrast different things, uh, which is a good place for us to recommend our other blogs. So here we have our other blogs. Where was it here? On uh, other types of ingredients. So we can scroll down and I can actually search for something like um, cloves, I think I wrote an article on. Clove, let me go ahead and search. And yep, we have another article here. So we're going to do lots of these things, right? These recommendations. So that's important. And I told you guys in this in one of my last couple of videos where I said I'm not really interested right now in just creating more new articles. I'm interested in improving what I have because any new article that I create, that will really just rank much, much faster uh, if I improve everything that I currently have. Okay, and like I said, I had a whole episode on that. Um, and let's go ahead and keep reading here what's left. It says tips for a balanced diet that includes testosterone boosting foods. And then finally, your conclusion. I'm not big on conclusions. Uh, like, you know how like in sometimes we're used to writing like in conclusion too and then, you know, all this stuff. Even though my virtual assistants have done that, okay, uh, it's not something I'm big on. Like, you don't need to conclude. You don't need to sign out with the reader, right? You don't need to do that. Only in certain circumstances do you have to. Most times you don't. The reader's there for their information, then they're going to, you know, bounce off. So they're not interested. All right. Just that's a little FYI. So we have a whole introduction here. Now that content pace is done taking care of things for me, we have a few things here. So we have topic reports. Let's go ahead and view this report. And we have some analysis. We have some data on this. So we have a few articles here. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Um, out of curiosity, let's see how to yeah so this is my article okay rank number 40 right here you could see it's in the top 50 and that's not bad but we can actually see where we're going wrong with this right and um that's very important okay now the keyword here is not 
testosterone. It's not onions. It's do in, in onions increase testosterone. But we don't have to repeat that keyword over and over and over again. That's why I don't want you guys to pay attention too much to this keyword, you know, keyword density here. This doesn't matter as much. Okay. Now let's go ahead and read where we're going wrong or right with these things. All right. So the first thing is the college, the reading level is too high, which basically just means the readability is very low. And one of the things I had, I had a whole episode on this in the playlist. You guys can check out the playlist completely for free in the description box down below. There's a free playlist. Uh, readability was one of those episodes. You can do a search on my channel as well. You'll find it. Um, but there's a whole channel, there's a whole episode on that, on readability. And if the, if the reading level is higher, that means that there's low readability. That's a problem. This needs to be fixed. Okay, so college level, not good. It, we want to decrease that level, believe it or not. The content, we have 1,647 words. Okay. Now, something that I will say to you guys is just because other websites have less words than us does not mean that they should necessarily rank above us. But what happens is, is like I said, not every article is treated equally because Google looks at things from a macro perspective as well. They look at your whole entire website. So if I improve this one article, that doesn't mean I'm going to hit rank one. But what happens is, is if I improve all my other articles, then I have a higher chance to hit rank one for this specific topic, okay? Especially because the competition is a little bit lower. And how do I know that? Well, the website is relatively brand new. There's really not that much good content on it. Like I said, my virtual assistants were responsible for this. And it still got some ranking, some traffic. So that's something to be aware of. And then here, finally, we have our paragraphs, headlines, etc. I wouldn't worry too much about this unless you have a super post, okay? Um, and I'm actually going to create a whole paid guide on how to master the super post and the elements needed for a super post. Uh, but that will be coming soon. And you could check out uh, cashcownichesites.com for that. But like I said, a super post is an article that exceeds... 3,000 words. I like to generally have it 4,000 or more, but anywhere from like 3,000 to 6,000 words on the web page. Um, and it covers all the information necessary for that one article. Those kind of articles are good for all purposes, for affiliate marketing, for traffic, for pretty much everything. So that's why they're called super posts, but I'll tackle that later. So let's go ahead and see what the first one is like. So the first one has 5,000 plus words. Score of 49. Don't worry too much about the score. Uh, college le reading level. Here we have 1459. Okay, which huge drastic difference. Then we have 836. Then we have 524. So here, if we were to look at the median, the median is somewhere in between 1459 and 836. Okay, which is the average of the median is maybe like, I think like 1200 words roughly for an article. Um, and then here, uh, here we have testosterone in males as enhanced. Let's go ahead and view these articles first of all, and let's get a glimpse as to what we can expect uh, to actually read about. So here is um, topic analysis report for the keyword, do onions increase testosterone? And then this is the report. So we have all different reports for these guys. Um, Let's go ahead and view this article. So this view, this article is by ncbi.gov. I believe this is a, a testing site. So let's go ahead and actually view that. Yep, Natural Library of Medicine. So this is the testing site. It's got a lot of domain authority, which is why it ranks somewhere up there. But here's the thing. Google understands that just because it has a lot of domain authority, they're looking for things that are more readable. So what if we can create an article that is much more readable, much more easy to understand than what's going on here, and backlink to this? That's important. That will at least give us anywhere a spot between position number two and position number five. So somewhere in there. And we could actually look at these other articles, and they've done the same thing. So here... We can view this article. This is about eight foods that may boost your testosterone, and probably one of them is onion. So can't view the original. Let's go ahead and view it. Um, for some reason, it couldn't pick up the article, but eight foods. And then here we go. We have onions. And 
like I said, for it, this to rank in position number two, that means there's open ranking here. And you guys can relate this to your own business. Um, if, if you see an article that's not directly related to it like this, but has content in it, that means it can be one. It could be beat. So let's go ahead and view this. And also, you can actually see this article is not hard to read. This is not college level. Even though it says here, uh, college level, it's not college level. Okay, this is all it is is because of readability, the images, the the data, the colors, the all the, the backlinking. It's great. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna beat the competition. So the first thing is what I like to do is I'm gonna move this up. Okay, now this is not gonna be a whole article writing guide uh, because we have a section on that, but right now we're gonna see how we can drastically improve. Let's let's come up with like five bullet points on how we can improve this article. The first thing is readability. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna include, I wanna get some images, okay? So images is the first thing, okay? The second thing is I wanna look for keywords and I wanna look how I can put in the right keywords where they need to be. The second thing is concepts that I'm missing, or the third thing, excuse me, concepts that I'm missing, right? So like I said, we have readability, we have keywords, we have missing concepts. These are things we have to go over, all right? So I should talk about testing. So let me go ahead and create a saved content. I already have it here saved, and I will go to my, um, uh, where is it here? I have a text container. Let's go ahead and do that. And what I'm gonna do is bullet point this out. So improve, improve readability, okay? I'm gonna include images to do that, okay? I will inc increase topics, related topics, and I will also uh, find keywords, find keywords related, and inject, okay? So I'm gonna have to write stuff about that. Also, we're gonna talk about testing. Medical testing, medical uh, uh, studies. That doesn't make sense, medical studies, okay? What else? Um, let's see here, readability. Now, hold on, let's go ahead and get some more information. So we have a content audit, let's go ahead and view the content audit. And this is telling us where we're going wrong with the article. So we have keywords found in H2s. We have no H2s. We have no H3s, okay, which is terrible. So we don't. We have to work on that. We have keywords found in paragraphs, zero. Keywords found in bold, zero. So all the, most of this, by the way, you can cough this up to readability. Like half of the job here is readability. Then we have to just improve on our keyword usage. So these are keyword used, and we don't have many being used properly. Uh, so like these on all red means I have to include these keywords. So let's go ahead and do this. So read this, it says cold showers, intermittent fasting. These are alternatives to boosting testosterone. So um, let's hear, instead of saying like, we're, we're gonna just tackle one paragraph which will help us solve a lot of these problems in this article. So I'm gonna go over here, hit add block, empty block. By the way, if you like the content so far, please share this with some friends or something like that. I don't know. Helps out the channel. Um, let's go ahead here, and let's see. We have our heading and text container, and I'm going to say here, alternatives to eating onions for healthy or for increased testosterone levels, okay? And then what I'm going to do, so this is considered an H2 right now. Right, so this is heading number two. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a bunch of H3s under. So we're going to have this in the format of like a bullet point structure. Right, so I have a three H3s here. So what are the alternatives? Let's go ahead and read them. So the first one was a keyword that we needed was cold showers, right? Because if I look here into the content page, let's go ahead and see here. Um, it says here, cold showers is a keyword that I need and has to be mentioned at least one time, All right? So that's something that I need. That could be an H3. Intermittent fasting is another keyword, right? So intermittent fasting. So let me go over here and add one, intermittent fasting. Okay, not sure if I spelled that right, uh, but we'll let the Grammarly solve that for us because I don't know how to spell. And accept boom and then what else do we need we need another keyword here it says boost naturally physical uh, activity stress levels high increased 
Um, let's see, lose weight. So I think physical activity, right? So physical activity is another keyword, right? So physical, physical activity. And, you know, reasonably saying from a content standpoint, if we had a doctor, they would sit here and recommend maybe these things. Now, cold showers might be a little bro science. Nobody really knows. Um, actually, that's not true. There's probably experiments that prove that cold showers are a thing. But look what I just did here, guys. I turned this into an H3. So what this means is these fit under the umbrella of the main H2. That's when I go ahead and I add some text in here. So I add in text, I add in text, and let's format this properly. And let's go over here and add in text, okay? Uh, I like to separate these into multiple containers because I would like to add images and things like that in between, right? So add text here. Boom, just like that. And that's one container. This is another container. And I'll go ahead and add another container right here. Take this headline, take this text here, and add this in, right? So now I have this separate. I'll just go ahead and add another container, make it separate, take this title, boom. And then I have these three different versions or three different, uh, I guess you could say examples. And I'm going to add these little icons here just for more readability. And I'm going to add them kind of like this and make them closer to the title. You know, just kind of control my design a little bit. Um, and I think I actually like the way it looks like this. So I'll take this icon, copy it, and go to my copied widgets and paste it here. Okay, let me see. If, actually, you know what? Let's put them on the top. Why not? And we're going to align everything centerized. So I'm going to take this heading and align it, this in the middle. So just like that, physical activity. And then I'll take this, center align as well, and I'm going to change the icon. So I'm going to look for something like maybe workout or something like that. So I'll type in workout. Let's see here. It doesn't have that. Let me type in maybe muscle or something or dumbbell. There we go. Dumbbell. Boom. Physical activity, right? And this column button is in the way, but you could see here it looks like this. All right. So physical activity. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to tell the AI, explain how working, working out frequently can increase testosterone levels. Also, relate testo higher testosterone, higher testosterone levels to metabolism levels as well. As well. And let me go ahead and fix my grammar just so that the AI can understand me a little bit better. And it will go ahead and write that for me. So it will write me some concepts about that. Okay, and this is built into Rocket Web Builder for free. You don't pay extra or anything like that. It's all built in. All right, so let's let that load for a second as it does its thing. And you can see here, it's done that for me. So let's go ahead and read it. It says, regular exercise can have significant impact on testosterone levels in men. Studies have shown that men who engage in regular physical activity, particularly weightlifting and high-intensity interval training, are likely to have higher testosterone levels than those who lead sedentary lifestyles. Instead of lead, let's go ahead and change this to live a sedentary lifestyle. Okay, sedentary lifestyle. This is because exercise stimulates the production of testosterone in the body, particularly in the testicles, which is which are responsible for producing the hormone. Okay, then what we're going to have here is higher to let's get rid of this higher testosterone levels can also have a positive impact on the metabolism. Testosterone plays an important role in regulating metabolism by increasing the muscle mass and reducing body fat. And then I'm going to go over here and add my own little flavor and say that exercising, exercising and doing the high intensity workout lifting schedule we recommend it will help you do just that. At this point, you will be killing 
two birds with one stone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put this into italics, right? And put like a little quote around here. And then what I'm going to say is, let me explain, okay? And I'm going to say, when you work out, you're building muscle. When you build muscle, you burn fat and your metabolism gradually increases. This leads to a healthier, stronger body, which is exactly why, exactly what a higher testosterone level provides for you okay so then what i'm going to do here is this this article where i have where i just literally said where we recommended i'm going to take this and hyperlink this to an area where we wrote an article on a beginner's uh, or a perfect weightlifting workout so i'm going to internally link so i have to create a separate article on that and i could do that real quick so i can go over here and hit update Okay, and I can go back here and I can create add post and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say here um, a perfect beginners workout or lifting lifting routine, a perfect beginners workout lifting routine. Then I'm going to go to the AI. Okay, and I'm going to do something simple really quick and I'm going to tell it create for me a seven day workout schedule schedule um workout schedule for high intensity weight lifting slash bodybuilding workout split include details of sets reps etc okay and then what we're going to do is hit submit. And it's going to provide that workout for us. And then this will be an article that we're going to link to for other all of our other workout guides. And that's what would be like a free beginner's whatever, beginner's plan, okay? So let it do its thing. Give it its time, okay? Because this is the AI that it's doing all the information here. Um, and it's, and it's uh, doing its, you know, doing its thing. There's really no other way to say it. So let's go ahead and sit back and wait. Okay, I don't think it captured the text there, so let me go ahead and do that again. So I'm going to say, write a full workout weightlifting schedule for me. Include sets and reps, okay? Um, maybe I had a lot of grammatical errors in the last one. It, that shouldn't have happened, but sometimes, you know, things happen. It's technology. So give it a second. It will do its thing, provide the results, etc. Just give it a second here. There we go. Okay. Uh, so here we have a workout it says, um, be sure to uh, it says warm up five to 10 minutes of light cardio, et cetera, dynamic stretching. I think I asked too much of it last time. So this is, let's say day one, give me, uh, so this is cool down, tricep, barbell, dumbbell lunges. So this is a beginner's, let's just call this a beginner's full body lifting routine, right? So this is a beginner blog. This is not perfect. It needs to be drastically improved, but this is going to lead to internally linking. So category, we're going to call this workout, something like that. That'll be the category and I'll hit update. So this is an article now. It's not perfect, but it is where it needs to be for now. Then I'm going to go back to that onion article, right? And go search here onion. Let's see. Boom, click on it and look for where we recommended that. So I'm going to go over here and we'll have here something that says, um, where was it? Higher testosterone. Low. We recommend, okay, a workout lift, a workout lifting schedule, workout lifting schedule we recommend, okay, just like this. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and click this link button and then I'm going to go to the blog and then I'm going to find the blog that I just wrote. So a perfect beginners workout body lifting routine and new tab. Okay, new tab is good. And then I hit select. And so now this is internally linked and it will take people to that. Now, once again, those articles are not perfect. We have to improve, we have to whatever, but the whole point is that we're building. And this is what building or improving the articles that we currently have looks like, is we have to build a ecosystem around it, okay? Um, so building your, uh, what does it say here? When you work out, you're building, you are, it said you are building you are building muscle. Okay. And there we go. And then let's go ahead and continue. It says when testosterone levels are low, the body is more likely to store fat and burn muscle for energy, which can lead to uh, slower metabolism and weight gain. This is not necessarily true. I don't think the body is going to burn muscle at all. I don't think that's even possible. Um, uh, so I don't know, maybe there's doctors here listening to this, but I'm not going to add that. So when testosterone levels are low, the body is more likely to store fat store fat and have lower and have a lower metabolism than have a lower metabolism level this over time will relate to having lower Actually, you know, that that's fine. We'll just leave that the way it is. By increasing testosterone levels through regular exercise, individuals can improve their metabolism, increase their ability to burn fat and muscle. This can lead to a more efficient, effective workout routine. Um, yeah, we're just going to get rid of this, okay? So that's good where that's at. So this is one section where we're talking about physical activity, how it helps boost testosterone, and there we go, okay? I could, if I want to, go over here, tell the AI, um, explain the science behind how testosterone testo testosterone increases when we work out something like that um that might help but we'll, we'll let's see what what it produces here Hopefully it can kind of uh, talk about the aspect of living a sedentary lifestyle can lead to lower testosterone, but we'll see. It says testosterone is a hormone. We don't need to do this. Uh, when we work out, our bodies are put under a significant amount of stress. This can trigger the release of testosterone. There we go. So this is what I was looking for, as well as hormones such as HGH. These hormones work together to promote, promote muscle growth and repair, which is why strength training is often associated with higher testosterone levels. So we're going to take this. And we're going to paste this here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a heading. So I'm going to have a heading for, and I'm going to say, let's break down the science. And then I'm going to have here, why testosterone levels improve when you lift weights, something like that. And I take this just like this, and I'm going to turn this into an H4. So heading four, right? So this is a heading underneath the heading, right? And that's this section here, and that's perfect, okay? Um, and that kind of gives us information, right? And so what we can do is now, we can get rid of all this if we don't need it. In addition, all this kind of stuff, all right, yeah, we don't need all this, all right? So that was just a good section added right there. And that was, that was one section. Okay, next one is cold showers, and we'll say here um, to the AI, uh, explain, explain from a scientific standpoint how taking cold showers improves testosterone levels, okay, and hit submit. Give it a second, like I said, which this is, I feel like is, it does help um, using this than like chat GPT, which same technology. The only difference is you don't have to copy and paste 
Uh, it's all built in for you. So from a scientific standpoint, there is evidence that to suggest that taking cold showers can improve testosterone levels. Testosterone, the male, blah, 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 is regulated by a number of factors, including environmental factors such as temperature. So here, instead of this, uh, let's say we don't need the male sex hormone. Everybody knows that. Testosterone is known to be, can be regulated. We're going to have, instead of can be regulated, there has to be a way, better way to say that. So here... Let me take this. Let me take this. I'm going to copy this line because it it's separate from what I'm doing uh, real quick. I'm going to copy it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the text because I want a better way to say that. So I'm going to go here, paste, and then I'm going to take the AI and improve that. So testosterone is, is all right, various factors, including external ones like temperature, have been identified to identified as regulators of testosterone. That's good, right? So I'm going to take this, copy it, or cut it rather, and re remove this and paste it here. It's more straight to the point, and it's more what I'm looking for, okay? Like like temperatures, or like extreme temperatures. That's what it is. Extreme temperatures have been identified as regulatories, regulators of testosterone. Uh, then we're going to have here, when someone exposes themselves to extreme cold or extreme warmth and then we're going to have here different ones so like a sauna or and then here we'll have extreme cold we'll have like an ice bath like taking an ice bath okay um uh regulators of testosterone um the body has shown to improve overall health, including testosterone level production or testosterone level production. Now that could be written a little bit better. So I'm going to take this section once again and do the exact same thing. So I'll go over here. Paste this here, go to the AI, and help improve that. So take this text. Like For me, I don't have the mental energy right now to sit here and figure out how to improve this. So it says, exposing oneself to extreme cold, such as taking an ice bath or extreme warmth, like a sauna, has been demonstrated to enhance overall health, including the production of testosterone levels in the body. We're going to go ahead and improve that one more time and see what it comes out with. Uh, it has been proven. That's, all right, there we go. So I'll take this, copy it and paste it here okay just like that all right it says research has shown to exposure to cold and testosterone we already did that all right uh, cold showers therefore may be a natural and safe way to help increase testosterone levels in men when exposed to cold weather the body responds by releasing hormones including testosterone which helps to improve energy levels uh, increase muscle mass and boost overall sexual function. Additionally, cold showers have shown to have other health benefits such as reducing inflammation, improving circulation, which may contribute to increased testosterone levels. Okay, here I'm going to take this and I'm going to type other health benefits of taking cold showers. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is turn this into bullet points, like exactly what this is here, when exposed to cold weather, etc., whatever, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go here to the text, once again, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to say, turn this, turn this into a bullet point list, and then paste it. Okay, and it will do that for me. It will turn exactly that into a bullet point list. I'll take it, I'll copy it, and paste it. So there we go. Exposure to cold. Take this. Go over here. Paste it here. I'll actually delete these little little lines here, and I'll use my built-in uh, bullet point function. So I'll highlight this, bullet points, and clean out those extra ones. And there we go. And what I'm going to do is highlight this and go into header four. Okay. So once again, so we have here header two. Okay. Header three, header four, header three, 
header four. Okay. And then we have some other stuff. It says additionally, cold showers have health benefits such as reducing inflammation. I believe we should have listed this here. Improves testosterone, improves energy levels, increased muscle mass, boost overall function. And I'll start listing them here. So reducing inflammation, inflammation, uh, improve circulation, uh, increase in brown fat and decrease in I believe it's called is it yellow fat or white fat let's see yellow fat or white fat let's see white fat what's the difference I, I know it's it's called brown fat yellow fat is comprised of what okay so it is yellow fat uh, or was it should we write here brown fat versus white fat I think this is what it's called brown fat breaks down yeah Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So what does it say? Brown fat breaks down breaks down blood sugar, glucose, fat molecules to create, help to maintain body temperature. So brown fat is actually a good thing. Um, and decrease in, decrease in uh, brown fat, decrease in white fat, white fat cells. And that's good. So we'll get rid of this. Okay. Um, this is benefits of taking showers. Uh, one of these hormones. Okay. So exposure to cold water triggers the release of hormones in the body. Okay. Um, trigger, uh, influx of testosterone production, uh, HGH production, uh, increased HGH production. And then we have the rest here. Okay, um, it says overall the exact mechanism behind how cold showers improve is not fully understood. However, the evidence is okay. We'll get rid of this. Um, actually, it can positively impact hormone levels in overall health. Yeah, we'll get rid of it. We don't need this. Okay, now we have intermittent fasting, the last one, and then we'll go over here and we'll tell the AI uh, write for me, write for me, or from uh, we'll just say from a scientific standpoint how can intermittent how can intermittent fasting improve testosterone levels okay and hit submit let's see let's see let's see just give this a minute Intermittent fasting has been shown to have a positive impact on testosterone levels in several scientific studies. Now we should actually list out those studies. So have a positive impact. One of the ways intermittent fasting can improve testosterone levels is by reducing insulin levels. Okay, here is where we need to actually explain the study. If we're going to go ahead and say this, it makes sense to explain the study, at least in this situation. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say... Okay, uh, cite the study where um, intermittent fasting has shown to increase testosterone levels in test subjects. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and submit. And hopefully we'll be able to do that. We're, we're going to have to verify it because we're going to have to link it and do all that. But... Um, yeah, it helps. According to a study published by the Journal of Translated Medicine, intermittent fasting... Okay, let me take this, copy this, and paste this into Google. Uh, effects of time-restricted feeding, um, intermittent fasting, and what is this? The Longevity Health Magazine. Does it say anything about a study here? A new study, the New England Journal of Medicine suggests that um, I don't know where it says this, though. Uh, people often refer... Okay, let me go ahead and find a different one. National Institute of Health. Uh, intermittent fasting, reproductive hormones in females and males. We can link something like this, but we have to reword whatever what was written. Um, it says, increase an average of 180% in their testosterone levels. This is believed to 
increase. So let me actually do this. Increase average of 180% testosterone levels. Intermittent fasting. Because this is going to get it from somewhere. It's a, the AI is not going to just make this up. Um, so this is the article. Uh, in non-obese men, intermittent fasting testosterone was shown. Luteinizing hormone. This is from Kino Body. Uh, let's see what else. I don't. I think this is the only place, um, unless it was somehow mentioned somewhere else here. Study showed that 180 percent increase in men. So this is another one. So I'm not sure where they're getting this information, but hey, we'll 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 go ahead and look into this. Um, maybe Kino Body has some information on that. When was this article written? Let's see. Um, does it even say the date? Let's see. Share this post. Get my free whatever. It doesn't even say. It doesn't say when this was written. Um, let's see here. It says 180%. Let's click on the study. They link the study. So... Study is pub medical pituitary testicular axes uh, in obese men during short-term fasting. And here it says in non-obese men. Um, so not sure what the deal is with that. I'm probably going to have to look into it. But this is believed due to the fact that enter mess into okay. We'll take this. Um, intermittent fasting has been shown to have a positive effect. Okay, and we'll paste this here. According to the study of whatever, add it. One of the ways intermittent fasting, we already have this, in, uh, all right, luteinizing hormone. Let's search where luteinizing hormone, if we have it placed, it's not placed anywhere else, um, which is responsible for test introduction, testes production. Intermittent fasting may also help overall hormonal balance. So really what I could do, I'm going to leave this the way it is. I can actually improve it later. But this is one section in our blog. So like from bottom of here all the way upwards to this section is almost done. I just have to add the icon selection. So I'll go over here, icon, add it. Um, and I would probably, let me actually search if shower is the one. Yep, I can add shower icon right here, which is actually pretty cool. Okay, um, I like how I can do that. That I think it fits perfectly because I have one for a workout. I have one for cold showers. Um, and for the fasting one, I will add an icon of like a picture of food or something like some sort of like, like maybe an apple or a burger or something like that. So food, this looks like a rice bowl or something. Let me search if I search for burger. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, nice burger right there. All right, we'll go ahead and add that to this section here. And we're going to edit this and center the text. And so this is pretty decent thus far. And that was just one improvement we made with an internal link. So this is an internal link right here. Okay. And we'll have to do external links and things like that. I just have to verify the study. Obviously, I'm not going to waste your guys' time with that. I'll do that on my own time. But you get kind of what we did here a little bit. Uh, ever so slightly, we'll improve. We'll improve, we'll improve. The, you know, it takes time. Um, and because of these direct changes, Google will have to test where we're going to fit. You know, this blog is not perfect. There's just one aspect that has been helped solidify to make it a little bit better. OK, um, doesn't mean the article is perfect now. The article still needs work. You know, there's a lot of things we still need to improve. However, um, it's a step in the right direction. And um, frankly, if I just left this up to my virtual assistants, they, they wouldn't have got it done properly. I'm just being factual. Uh, I think not because of the, the virtual assistants themselves. Um, or excuse me, it is because the virtual assistants themselves, uh, the person that I hired for this specific article, I don't want to sit here and act like all my virtual assistants are bad because they're not the person who I hired for this website, uh, was just lackadaisical effort, you know, not serious, not committed, uh, lack of effort, lack of energy. He didn't have lack of brains. He was very intelligent, uh, but just lack of, lack of effort, you know, and, uh, I'm not going to sit here and babysit anybody if they don't want to do it, they don't want to do it. And, and we're just going to keep it going on from there. All right, so this is where it's going to sit for now. And I'm going to help uh, improve this later and maybe create more episodes in the future. All right, guys. Also, once again, if you want some content, you want to learn how to write a full-on article, 
um, writing uh, chat GPT for blog post. Check this out. Uh, I will leave the link in the description to our website, cashcownichesites.com. We'll be gradually adding content on here, adding web, you know, products. I actually want to add like a playlist of all the videos that we created. Uh, so you guys can head over there and watch videos there. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Help. Bye.